Hey everyone, so I've been making a game and for that I needed a bird model. So I found this really nice asset on CG Traders, though I found it way too high on polycount for the game I'm making. So I decided to retopologize it. You could also use decimate modifier if you want. I chose not to and did manual retopology to have more custom geometry. And as you can see, I'm using an add on for it known as retopo flow. It's super easy to use and create chords with one click and it creates looping mesh with single drag as you can see for the wings i decided to stop using the top of flow and uh, just uh, go manually and create geometry around the wings after retopology is done i will now use shrink wrap modifier to deform my low poly mesh closer to the original mesh just keep in mind that it doesn't have to be perfect but if you see any overlapping geometry do fix it now that your geometry is ready it is time to do uv unwrapping you can do smart uv project it will work just fine but if you want to edit texture in photoshop later then it is better to do manual uv unwrapping so before we unwrap we need to add seams and i usually add seam near the loop of the mesh like wings neck and i do this before applying mirror modifier to save time after that let's unwrap it and we got two good islands and one bad island to fix this bad island i'm going to find an edge that goes from center to outside mark it as a seam and let's unwrap it again we get a island that makes more sense now you might need to separate them where they connected and unwrap it again and once i'm happy with all the islands we will apply mirror modifier and unwrap it again so if you still see any bad islands add seams and unwrap it again like we did previously once you're happy with a uv unwrap do average island scale and pack the islands now it's time to bake textures from high poly mesh to low poly mesh and for that you need to add material on our low poly mesh add a image texture node and create a new image texture of your desired resolution keep the alpha channel on so that if there is any transparency between the like the wings uh, then it will get caught and it will be added as the transparent channel in your alpha channel adding that uv coordinate node at the end is optional and i also have added it on the high res mesh for baking any texture in blender you need to be inside cycles render engine uh, with whatever is faster in your case cpu or gpu then you need to set the sample count don't make it too high or else baking will take too long for no reason you can also set tiling if you want if you have gpu then set the tiling to something high like 500 or 1000 if you are using cpu then tiling should be smaller so so it is an experimental value you need to experiment with it and whatever works faster for you use that in the bake section we will set bake type to diffuse which is color information inside the influence if you don't want any scene lighting to be baked on top of your texture uncheck the direct and indirect keep the color make sure to check selected to active and now it's very important to select the low poly mesh first and then select the high poly mesh hit the bake button and wait till the bake is done now as you can see it baked but the texture looks bad and we can fix this by changing some values like margin size let's make it 8 pixels and have extrusion of 1 meter and let's hit bake as you can see the result is much more better and you can make more changes if you want in any image editing software further but before that you need to save this image by clicking on the image tab and save as save it anywhere you want similarly you can also bake normal and other textures if your normal map looks looks bad make sure to have your max ray distance set to non-zero something like 0 0.2 or 0 0.6 you need to experiment with that value baking is underrated feature of blender you can not only bake textures from one model to another but can also bake textures from one uv map to another uv map of same object and i will make video on that topic soon till then hope you all learned something from this video and if you have any doubts ask them in the comment section below or join our discord server link in the description to support this channel make sure to subscribe like and share and i will see you in the next video bye bye